I do hope we're not late. No, no, you, uh, you timed it perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Felix, I would love for you to meet Gwendolyn and Cecily. Oh, Cecily and Gwendolyn. Oh, sorry. Cecily and Gwendolyn. <laughs> uh, uh, Robin. No. Oh, uh, well, hold on. No, no, no. no. Um, uh, Cardinal. Wrong both times. It's Pigeon. Pigeon, Cecily and Gwendolyn Pigeon. You don't spell it like Walter Pigeon, you spell it like Cuckoo Pigeon. Cuckoo <laughs> <laughs> Pigeon. That's a, I'll remember that if it comes up in conversation. Uh, hey, girl, I would love for you to meet my roommate and our chef for the evening, Felix Unger. How do you do? How do you do? How do you do? How do you do? <laughs> hey, come on. Okay, well, we did that beautifully. Come, please, come, come. Make yourselves comfortable, please. Oh, this is um, so nice, isn't it, Gwen? Oh, lovely. Much nicer than our flat. <laughs> Do you have help? <laughs> yes. I have a man who comes in every evening. <laughs> Aren't you the lucky one? <laughs> isn't it beautiful? Please, please, make yourselves comfortable. Please, please. Hey, you know, I was just telling Felix about how we happen to have met. Oh, who's Felix? He is. Oh, yes, I'm so sorry. <laughs> you know what happened to us again this morning? What did? Stuck in the elevator again. You're kidding. W what happened? Well, it wasn't just the two of us, was it? No, it was poor old Mr. Kessler from the third floor. Oh, Kessler was with you? Oh, that's funny. Well, well, all right, what happened? Nothing much, I'm afraid. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> that's so beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. He's ever so much cooler than our place. <laughs> oh, it's like Equatorial Africa on our side of the building. Just last night, Gwen and I sat there in nature's own, cooling ourselves in front of the open fridge. <laughs> Can you imagine such a thing? I'm working on it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, Cecily and I can't get a night's sleep. We just don't know what to do about it. I, why don't you sleep underneath an air conditioner? We haven't got one. No, but we do. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I told you about that one, didn't I, Cecily? <laughs> <laughs> well, they say it may rain on Friday. <laughs> oh, well, that should cool things off a bit. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Although sometimes it gets hotter after a rain. Yes, it does, doesn't it? Yes. Well, dinner is served. Oh, no, it isn't. Oh, yes, it is. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. I'm sure the girls would like to have cocktails first, wouldn't you, girls? Well, I wouldn't put up a struggle. Uh, uh, well, uh, what would you like? Well, I don't know. What have you got? London broil. <laughs> I mean, a drink. We got everything, and what we don't have, I mix up in a medicine cabinet. <laughs> what will it be? Oh, how about a double vodka? Oh, Cecily, not before dinner. Oh, my sister, she watches me like a mother hen. Make it a small double vodka. <laughs> small double vodka, and um, for the beautiful mother hen. Oh, I think I'd like something cool. Um, I'll have a double dram buey with some crushed ice. <laughs> Unless you don't have any crushed ice. Are you kidding? I was up all night with a sledgehammer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. Hey, where are you going? I'm going to get the girls' cocktails. Inside? What do I do? <laughs> Why don't you sit down and finish the weather report? Um. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Oscar tells me you're sisters. Yes, that's right. From England. Yes, that's right. And we're not brothers. <laughs> yes, we know. Although I am a brother. I have a brother, he's a doctor, he lives in Buffalo. That's in upstate New York. Yes, we know. You know my brother? No! <laughs> we know that Buffalo is upstate in New York. We've been there before, have you? Uh, no, is it nice? Oh, lovely. Mm. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> Um, how long have you been in the United States of America? Almost four years now. Just visiting? No, we live here. And you work here too, do you? Yes, we're secretaries for Slender Rama. You know, the health club. 
know, people bring us their bodies and we do wonderful things to them. Actually, if you're interested, we can get you 10% off. 10% off the price, not your body. <laughs> Oscar, where are the drinks? <laughs> coming, coming. <laughs> so what field of endeavor are you engaged in? Uh, well, I write the news for CBS. Ooh, fascinating. Oh, where do you get your ideas from? <laughs> from the news. Oh, oh yes, of course, silly me. <laughs> Gwen and I in one of your news reports? Well, maybe if you do something spectacular, perhaps I will. Oh, we've done spectacular things. But I don't think you want that spread all over the telly. No, <laughs> do you, Gwen? <laughs> yeah, Oscar! Yeah, yeah. It's such a large apartment, sometimes we have to shout. Just you two batches live here. The batches? Oh, bachelors. Uh, uh, well, we're not, we're not bachelors. We're divorced. Uh, that is, Oscar's divorced and... I'm getting divorced. Oh, small world. We've cut the dinghy loose too, as they say. <laughs> well, you couldn't have a better matched foursome, could you? No, I suppose not. Although, technically, I'm a widow. I was divorcing my husband, but then he died before the final papers came through. <laughs> Gee, I'm awfully sorry. It's a terrible thing, isn't it, divorce? No, oh, it can be if you haven't got the right solicitor. Well, that's true. Sometimes they can drag it out for months. Mm. But I was lucky. Sniff cut and I was free. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, it's a terrible thing what it can do to people. I mean, after all, what is divorce? It's taking two happy people and tearing their lives completely apart. It's inhuman, don't you think? Yes, it can be an awful bother. Well, yes, but that's all water under the bridge now, isn't it, eh? Uh, Oh, I'm terribly sorry, but I think I've forgotten your name. Felix. Yes, Felix. Like the cat. <gasps> well, the pigeons will better beware of the cat, haven't they? Meow! <laughs> 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 uh, it's the worst part of breaking up. Oh, childhood sweethearts, were you? Uh, no, that's my little boy and little girl. Uh, he's seven, she's five. Oh, sweet. Uh, they live with their mother. Oh, I imagine you must miss them terribly. I can't stand it when I'm not around them. But that's what happens with divorce. Well, when do you get to see them? Well, every day. I stop by on my way home from work. I get them on weekends and holidays in July and August. <laughs> when is it that you miss them? <laughs> Whenever I'm not there. I mean, if they don't have to go to school so early, I, I stop by and make them breakfast. They love my French toast. Oh, you're certainly a very devoted father. Well, it's Frances, who's the wonderful one. Is she the little girl? Uh, no, she's the mother, my wife. Oh, the one you're divorcing? Mm -hmm. No, she's done a great job bringing them up. They always look so nice, they speak beautifully, never yeah, always yes. And she's done it all. I mean, she's the type of woman who... Uh, what am I talking about? You don't want to hear about all this. Oh, nonsense. You have a right to be proud. No, no. You have two beautiful children mm. and a wonderful ex-wife. Thanks, thanks. I now that's her, Frances. Oh, yes, pretty, very pretty. Isn't she pretty, Sassy? Yeah, she's a pretty girl, very pretty. Mm. Oh, isn't that nice? There's no one in that picture. Yeah, I know, it's a picture of our living room. Oh, <laughs> there? We had a beautiful apartment. Pretty, very pretty. Yeah. Those are lovely laps. Ah, thanks. We got them in Mexico on our honeymoon. I used to love coming home at night. It was my whole life. My wife, my kids, my apartment. Well, does she have the lamps now, too? Oh, yeah. I gave her everything. I Me, mean, it'll never be like that again. I... I... Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. I didn't mean to get so emotional. Would you like some potato chips? Oh, you mustn't be ashamed. I think it's a rare quality in a man to be able to cry. Oh, thanks. <laughs> no, I think it's sweet. It's Oh, you're, 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 I don't want to talk about it. You're only making it worse. No, it's so refreshing to hear a man talk so highly of the woman he's divorcing. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> now you've got me thinking about poor Sydney. Well, please, it was a good marriage at first. Everyone said so, didn't they, Cecily? Not like you and George. Oh, that's true. George and I were never happy. Not for one single solitary day. Oh, isn't this ridiculous? <laughs> I don't know what brought this on. I was feeling so good a few minutes ago. I know, I know. <laughs> I've been crying since I was 14. Oh, just listen.
it and pour out. It'll make you feel so much better. I always do. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Is everybody happy? Is Nothing, nothing. What did you say to them? I, I leave you alone for five minutes. I come into a funeral parlor. What did you say? Nothing. I didn't say anything. Don't get started, Oscar. I can't believe this. I can't leave you alone for three seconds. Okay, okay, Felix. You really want to cry? Might as well go look at your London broil. Oh, you didn't call me? You were supposed to call me. I'm sorry. Girls, I apologize. I should have warned you about Felix. He's a walking soap opera. Oh, I think he's the dearest thing I ever met. It's so sensitive. It's so proud. I just want to buckle him up in my arms and take care of him. <laughs> well, I think when he comes out of there, you may have to. <laughs> I'm going to the delicatessen. I'll be right back. Uh, hold on, hold on. Maybe it's not so bad. Oh, look, here, look. $9.34 worth of ashes. I'll get some corned beef sandwich. All right, come on. Let me look at it. Maybe we can save it. No, you can't look at it. Let me go. Why can't I look at it? it, look, it, it nobody likes black meat. Well, let me just look at it. No, you... You, no, no, you can't look at it. Okay, for the last time, Felix, why can't I look at it? If you looked at your wasp before, you wouldn't have to look at the black meat now. Felix, can we look at it? Please. Please. <laughs> Hey, that's a wonderful idea. I've got a better idea. Why don't we make pot luck in the kitchen? A, a much better idea. <laughs> I used up all the pots. Uh, well, uh, we could eat up in our place. We have tons of horn and hardest. That is the best idea I have heard so far. <laughs> but you'll have to take off your jackets. It's awfully hot up there. Oh, hey, maybe we can sit in front of the refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hold on. I can't you make it for you. You know, I'm suddenly starving to death. <laughs> Don't forget the wine. Uh, oh, I won't forget the wine. And the corkscrew. And the corkscrew. Oh, and Felix. Felix. Oh, I won't forget Felix. <laughs> <laughs> Ta-ta! <laughs> Ta-ta! Ta-ta!